So, another day of the NBA is behind us. I wasn't able to do much yesterday besides the Warriors game because I was just too damn tired and rest is important, guys, and drink your water. Anyway, let's go across the NBA today with a lot of fun games happening. First, let's start with the Pacers. Pacers playing against the Cavs who unfortunately were sitting down or sitting out. This game was missed by Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland, Jared Lover, Jared Lover, <laughs> Jared Allen who has been not played in a single game this year so far, which is rough. Evan Mobley still played, Karis Lever still played, uh, Max Struz, who has been absolutely sensational so far for them this season, has played. And yeah, otherwise, uh, of course, with three of your starters missing, I thought this would be an easy win for the Pacers. It didn't go as planned as Karis Lever decided to go crazy. He had like... 20 points in the first quarter or something like that, 22 points in the first quarter, then he cooled down, unfortunately for the Cavs, this has been the story with him, he's shown some bursts, some flashes, but he is very inconsistent on the offensive end, and he has just been kind of disappointing so far for them in his tenure as a Cavalier, in my opinion, and Evan Mobley had 33 points, 14 rebounds, 12 of 23, he, I loved the aggressiveness, he was assertive, he was goddamn aggressive on the offensive end, which you need to see more of him, more from him, even with Garland and Mitchell in there, you just need to see that way more, I understand it's not that easy, but you need that, he can just be a defensive player only, you need that offense from him, so he can be that special player we all saw in him, probably, <laughs> and yeah, the bench obviously didn't do anything, pretty much, Tristan Thompson had a great spur of, spur of minutes, but otherwise it was really rough, and the Pacers started off really poorly, but with how fast paced they are and how I love their bench, I love all their players, kind of, man. Everyone brings something a little different to the to the flavor, and today it was Aaron Neesmith, who was sensational. 26 points, 9 rebounds off the bench, brought the great energy, made every clutch bucket that was needed to be made. Jalen Smith also had a lot of clutch buckets, and I don't know, man, his shot looks so much more fluid to me. Maybe I've just not been watching as... Uh, as uh, precisely as I should be, because Jalen Smith's shot looks so good, man. He was sensational off the bench with 13.6 rebounds, 3 assists also. Tyrese Halliburton, 21, 8 and 13. Volking, 20 and 10, without a doubt. Uh, started to look for his shots a little too late for my liking, but at the end of the day, he did look for his shots. The pan, the pan, the fan that pissed him off got what he wanted, so <laughs> that's all that matters. And Miles Turner had a really good game with 20 points and 12 rebounds. Uh, Benedict Matter in the starting lineup, I'm not sure how I feel about that, played just 17 minutes, had zero boards, interesting to see how, you know, that spot and Obitopin spot shakes out, that forward spot is, in my opinion, up for the grabs, um, so far, obviously, they are 2-0, so it doesn't matter, Cavs drop to 1-2, and and then we had one of the funniest games I've seen in a long time. Jordan Poole and Kyle Kuzma against the Grizzlies, who are now 0-3 after this game. Desmond Bain got going a little too late. He had 26 points. Jaren Jackson couldn't get it going. I absolutely hate what they were doing with those. Um, like posting him up, clearing out for him on the right side of the floor and just letting him go to work like he's KD, man. He doesn't have that deep enough back. And, you know, I think his offense has to be created within the offense, uh, not as an isolation. I mean, of course he can from time to time, but it shouldn't be like a huge part of the game plan, if you know what I mean. Um, Dave, David Roddy, Derek Rose have been kind of really good for them so far off the bench, but uh, we'll see if that's sustainable. David Roddy, of course, is still, still a young player, so that's at least something uh, really good. I also really like how Zaire Williams has been playing so far, 10 rebounds today, so he looks pretty solid, but they've been inconsistent. They don't have enough bodies, it feels like. Um... And they signed Bismarck, signed Bismarck Biombo, so we'll see if he gets some rotation minutes and what will happen with them, because they play the Mavs next and they have not had a good time beating Luka, they lost like eight of the last nine games against the Mavericks with Luka, so the Grizzlies are off to a very bad start without Jamor and let's just put it that way, and Jordan Poole and Kyle Kuzma, man... Shooting 39% from the field, 35% from the field. Kal Kuzma got it going late to the basket, driving to the basket, finally using his big body because his shot was not falling. Everything was short for him. Jordan Poole is out there shooting whatever F he wants. Five turnovers, 27 points. 
He missed a turnaround three-pointer, which I'm sure you saw and you're seeing now. He He's just not been taking good shots, man. It's been ugly. It's been ugly. But it doesn't matter because they won. That's all that matters in the end. Gafford had 10 and 11, so good on him. He looks really solid in that starting low role. Danny, Danny Avdia had a really good spur. He looks solid defensively. I loved Cole Kispers for a half. After that, he couldn't get going. And Tyus Jones has been really solid. 14 points, 7 assists, 2 steals, 0 turnovers, which is the most important part. And overall, they didn't turn the ball over as much besides Jordan Poole. And like... Some of the ending to this game was really crazy and Kuzma and Poole will chuck them shots up, man. And we'll see how far that takes them. But it, it was hilarious. It was a hilarious game to watch. And yeah, it will be fun. It will be for sure fun. Maybe it will be one of the most frustrating basketball teams in a while. But when it will be going, it will be a lot of fun. <laughs> Hopefully it will be more going than not. Then the Knicks got blown out by the Pelicans, they fought back in the third quarter, but they clearly didn't have their legs under them after yesterday's win in Atlanta, as Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle combined for 0, 0, 8 of 29 from the field. RJ Barrett continues his solid start to the season, didn't shoot the three ball well, but still, 18 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 block, 7 of 16, he's been playing really good to start the season, so shout out to him. And yeah, for the Knicks, it was just really ugly. They couldn't get any offense going. Um, they didn't have enough for Zion, who's... Man, Zion's touch around the rim is crazy. Like, genuinely crazy how well he shoots around the rim. Some of the angles he takes, some of the shots he makes is crazy, man. Moriah Mills has to be proud of him. And Brandon Ingram had 26-7-3. Five turnovers, but he played really well. I've been a lo really low on... Brandon Ingram since the FIBA World Cup and overall he's just, I don't know man, just not feeling Brandon Ingram as much, but today he played sensationally. I also liked Herb Jones today. Um, yeah, that's about it, I guess. Jordan Hawkins had some really good spurs, shot the ball well, 3 of 6 from the 3-point line. They just wrote Ingram and Williamson, which is great, 2-0 and for the Pelicans. The Knicks now drop to 1-2 and two, and... Then we had the Bulls getting thrashed by the Pistons, despite Lavine scoring 51 points. He had zero assists, though, and got kind of locked down in the end by Ausar, who stayed with him really well, man. Ausar Thompson is looking like one of the best perimeter defenders already in the league, so that will be intriguing. I'm, I'm sure he's a lock for a lot of all defensive teams, and it's great that he's getting those reps played 31 minutes, 9 and 12, 5 assists also. Really impressed with this Pistons team. I love their identity. I like what they are doing. Kate Cunningham is a dog. 25 points, 10 assists. He did turn the ball over a lot, but still. Kate Cunningham is a dog. Absolutely love what he does. Jalen Duran is a goddamn dog also. He's had an incredible start to the season. He's still 19 years old. 19 years young, I should say. 23 and 15. 5 assists also. He's a, he, he's a dominating big man, man. He is so strong, he punishes the defense's, mis defense's mistake, he punches on everybody, plays good defense, grabs every board, had six offensive rebounds, and it's special, man. And Marvin Bagley has been playing really well off the bench, which I'm, I've been impressed with. I did not see Marvin Bagley come playing this well, and he's been playing really well off the bench, so that's super awesome, man. And yeah... The Bulls should have blown it up, we know that Patrick Williams wants 200 million or something and he's been playing goddamn awful so far to start his contract here, Kobe White has had a bad start to the season, um, yeah, it's been rough for the Bulls, but at least they sneaked a win against the Raptors yesterday with Alex Caruso making that huge shot at the end and huge overall Crazy double play in a way, <laughs> shout out baseball, and the Heat rested arrested uh, Jimmy Butler in Minnesota, who has not, he has sit out the last four games against Minnesota, and they lost, um, yeah, that is that, so Jimmy's, we will be seeing him for the next 97 games, has lasted a long time, and the, he just didn't shoot the ball well, jo Jovic started, he was 8, 11, and 4, didn't play bad, James Jacques Jr. also played pretty solid, Tyler Hero didn't shoot the ball well. Bam played really solid uh, offensively, but didn't rebound the ball well. It was a rough night for uh, for them from the three point line, thirty one percent. Didn't get to the foul line also, so that was not pretty. And Minnesota got got the win done. Uh, good good game by 
Rudy Gobert, who had 14 and 14. Nas Reed off the bench with 25, 8, two steals, one assist. He was sensational off the bench, man. Nas Reed, my dog. He is such a fun player. Kyle Anderson with 12 off the bench also. He had a really good outing. And overall, I would say a good win for the Timberwolves. They needed this one, especially with Jimmy being out after blowing that game against the Raptors, who... Have looked, looked weird. They played the Sixers today. Tyrese Maxi and Joel Embiid went off. Tyrese Maxi has had two great games to start the season. Played 40 minutes today. 34 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists. 12 of 20. 7 of 9 from the 3 point line. Man, Tyrese Maxi is blossoming and it's awesome. Kelly Oubre continued to have another good game with 18 off the bench. Embiid with 34, 9 and 8. Had also a really good game. Good bounce back after that first game. Where he looked really weird and off-putting. And Pascal Siakam continues his weird start to the season. Scotty Barnes has been easily the best Toronto Raptor so far. 24, 8 and 5 for him today. He looked really good. Um, and it has been pretty ugly. Jakob Polo didn't have a good night. Um, Grady Dick off the bench had a really good night. But the starters otherwise besides Scotty were bad. And the vibes are weird across the board in a way for Pascal Siakam. Especially who has just not looked motivated enough. Pascal Siakam just has not looked motivated enough. Could, we, could it be that he does not have a secure contract? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? But it, will, it is something to monitor, monitor for sure. And last but not least, the Jazz played the goddamn Suns. Who, yeah, the Suns blew them out. The Jazz just didn't have it in them after beating the Clippers last night. Laurie Markkanen had 19 at least. John Collins with 11 and 10. Uh, but it was not pretty. It was really ugly from pretty much everyone. Colin Saxon played pretty okay off the bench, I suppose. But they were getting blown blown out in the third quarter, so this game was just kind of not fun to watch in a way. KD had a really great efficient game. 26.7 assists on 8 of 11 shooting. Eric Gordon had 21 points at the half and was great. Grayson Allen, Drew Eubanks played sensationally. And yeah... Great win for the Suns, man, without Bradley Beal and Devin Booker. So this has been recapping these games across the NBA today. We have another six games late today. Can't wait to watch my Warriors against the Rockets. Denver, your OKC pretty early here in Europe, so that's awesome. Clippers. Spurs should be pretty fun. Sacramento against LA should be really fun. Atlanta has to get a win against Milwaukee, or has to. They really want to not start the season 0-3, right? So... A lot of fun matchups, and I'll catch you all with them tomorrow. And yeah, be kind to yourself and to others. Tell me your thoughts on the NBA season so far on today's slate. Love you all, guys. Peace.